discriminate, like ambush somebody. Aha, the plot thickens. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. <laughs> I'll get her. No, Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm, how about one for the road? Corley? Corley. Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <coughs> Rip Berger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Not oh. the minivans. <coughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah. And she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt her first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. Diaper. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Marine. Marine? Holy shit. What? Rip Berger's way ahead of me. I just hope Marine can handle this until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why do you bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors. Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. <sighs> Yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Moe's shack, but I don't see the limo. Maybe I beat him. On second thought, maybe I didn't. Nothing left here. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris. Here's Moe's picture of her and her uncle. It's smashed up, open, and there's no film inside. I don't need it. This place is messed up enough. It's empty. I don't want to hurt Moe's mailbox.
This sucker's mine. Look, I really need a ride. Look, I really need a ride. Look, I really... This sucker's mine. Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight, Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, Hello. the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. Hmm. It's empty. Don't get any ideas. No. He doesn't look happy. He's got a knife. He's got a knife. I can do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention nicks and scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? <laughs> that fucking face. That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around, said police business only. Pigs. Look, I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. <laughs> I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, all right? The customer with the knife is always right. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Good talking to you. Friendly folks you get in here. Em, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quahog. This your pit bull? Nah, that's my baby picture. Whoa. Watch it, that's my sister. Fifteen guys with towels in their belts? My graduating class from bartending school. No. Are you the guy with the lampshade on his head? Or the guy chugging out of the punch bowl? Lampshade. Got no home to hang it in. Its little feet are nailed to the piano. There's a joke here about stuffing, but I sure don't know what it is. That's one big fish. Yep. Got no home to hang it in. What's this? It's a big blobby gray shape. I was taking an art class. The monitor doesn't have any controls. He doesn't look happy. Good talking to you. He's got a knife. Can't. Got a ride. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you, I don't want to get involved. I've never liked nose rings. 
Me neither, but... Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you, I don't want to get involved. Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Okay, 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 okay. Look, I really need a ride. Maybe if I just... Let's explore the crime scene. Well, I guess it's, it's not gonna happen. So much for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. I need to get to this place. Uncle Beats me, Cringe. I need to go in that direction too, but the pigs are running the sty at night. How poetic. Ever hear of this place? Uncle Beats me, Cringe. Well, uh, I remember there used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway 9 on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> that was a good scam. <laughs> what is this? This is, this is so mean. The monitor doesn't have any controls. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Good talking to you. Being Being TV. Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. Time to talk. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me! Get my editor. He's gotta get me out of this. Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. <laughs> my career is riding on those pictures. Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. Oh, don't worry. I owe you one. If Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film?
I've touched it enough. Okay, so... Then can I be your way out the show? Yeah, I got that too. So will they, they will just let me go through the roadblock, just like that? Even though I'm the fucking pole cards leader? So much for returning to the no, scene No Now I can go with the guy. Fake ID. Hope no one notices the correction fluid under the correction fluid. Holy shit. Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Hmm. <laughs> so how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. <laughs> Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Not a good place to stay. Oh, great. This it smells is... like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. My life. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles beyond this point. I'm with the fed, jump. Check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you rude get your man. <laughs> hmm. We stopped moving. Problem with your truck? Yeah, <laughs> loose hose and nothing big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road, you know. Uh oh. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. I don't have anything. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. The guy is dead. Fucking... No one's taking my fuel line. <laughs> he took my fuel line. I took his life. Now I'm gonna walk really slowly. Tough looking padlock. I couldn't break that lock. I couldn't br I don't have- I don't have anything. You had the fucking lockpick, you fucking mongoloid. Where did you put it? You had a lockpick with you. Now you don't have- I don't have anything. Now you don't have anything, you fucking- I couldn't break that lock. Speak up, biker, fucker. No mementos. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. No. Lots of bikes. That's the insignia of the vultures. I can't believe Mo used to be a vulture. But then again, how else could she have gotten that recoil booster?
Looks like a mink pelt. I'm not into furs. Whoa! Well, I'm gonna some smash, smash the bitch up. I couldn't. Bring ah, junk. And a hose I can use on my bike. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. Mo? Holy shit! She took my booster fuel. Uh, why is she running from me? She must think the whole world's against her. I think I know how that feels. That does it. He's dead. That sign, that means I'm in cavefish territory. This cargo is worthless. We have been tricked, my brothers. Back to the cave. <laughs> Back to the cave. Hmm. The place looks deserted. Maybe the boss was wrong and she ain't coming here. She's coming. We just got here first. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. The plot is fake. What a stinking myth. I'd like to wrap this around Rip Burger's neck. Maybe I'll just take a little. This stuff reeks. Looks like Emmett dropped a load here. What the fuck is he doing? Hello? Hello? Oh. <laughs> that's, that's, I guess that's a bug. Let's see.
I don't walk. Well, get on the fucking bike, you mongoloid. I haven't seen you since you retired from the Polecats. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Uh, that's a long story. What are you doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, Ben. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? That's what the old mine road's for, son. Any fighting tips, Torque? Ah, oh, Ben, who's tougher than you? What's up with those cavefish, man? Watch out, Ben. They're not out here for sport. They hijack big rigs. It's part of their religion. Don't get in their way. They're blind, cold-hearted killers. Those rot wheelers are ugly suckers. They're none too bright, either. I'm sure you can handle them. How do the cavefish ride if they're blind? Well, they're only blind because they wear those special goggles to shield their sensitive cave-dwelling eyes. Special sensors in the goggles pick up the dots in the road and other large objects and landmarks to help them navigate. <laughs> Kinda trippy, huh? The vultures are quick, and they're nuts. The ones with those boosters are hard to whip. Just remember, Ben, it's not about muscle, it's about timing. You know any way around Boyahoga Gorge? Around it? <laughs> it's miles and miles long, Ben. What's the matter? Don't like bridges? It blew up. Ooh, sorry I missed that. Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Cavefish got its ramp in their hideout, you know. Father Tork, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law... Ben, I'm not the leader of the Polecats anymore. You are. Can't you see I'm on permanent vacation? Where is the cavefish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible, unless you got those weird cavefish specs. Can't talk anymore, Ben. Eating too many bugs. Well, take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. Boss fight. 